Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video we're gonna witness together the review of the new gun Pain Train. I'm so hyped. And that's gonna be my first video in 2019. Second? Sec second video. I mean, why do you always like to bully because me? Because you lied. You said it's second and it's not. Okay, first of all, we're gonna set it up, guys, and we're gonna uh, change somebody other than Crackshot. Don't you fucking dare. Okay, okay. We're gonna get Skull Ranger Ramirez with improved headshots and increase uh, headshot damage by 27%, which is very good. I always use her for ARs. Yep. And we're gonna use um, here, we're gonna change to Calamity and go for the explosion rounds, killing 10 enemies with a ranged weapon deals 10 southern damage checking out uh, crackshot with the advanced uh, tactics uh, steady aim quick clip uh, survivalist wherever doesn't help us with the gun ammo recovery what? assault damage heavily armored which is gonna help us a little bit not taking damage and waste not want not increase ammo capacity of all weapons for 40 damage which is gonna be very amazing guys let's check now the main thing which is our new pain train before we check the weapon guys, I'm gonna just stay, uh, let you take a quick look about what we have in the store items right there. So you can take a quick look about it and then we're gonna buy the gun for 1680 gold. And the weapon now is a 130 Sunbeam guys maxed out and I'm checking on the left side of the screen. Uh, DPS is quite good, damage, the crit uh, hit chance and the crit damage are very good by the way. Uh, we have the range, durability. I'm gonna adjust uh, some of the perks here just to fit the stats of the weapon. And as we, key, uh, as we see, can see guys on the right side, we have down there, each shot fired grants 1.8 damage for one second so we should put like a one perk damage one crit rating damage element physical i guess it's gonna be the best and we're gonna go to a damage to mist monsters or we can change the damage to mist monster to do damage again which is gonna, gonna be like really quite an amazing thing to do more damage especially the perk has each shot fired grant 1.8 damage so if we put two perks as damage there that means the weapon is gonna be massive do massive damage but for now we're not gonna go for that just while we are checking the weapon so we're gonna go with those stats you see and I'm gonna level them up to make them purple and I'm gonna put one as a uh, god roll and now let's go straight to the gameplay and his name is John C <laughs> and here we are guys it uh, seems our smasher. target is the smasher that's the first target um, good damage, good damage, not bad, guys. And by the way, I wanted to know that I broke my controller. So, yeah. that That's really good damage, man. Like, it melted the smasher. Taker! So, we've got some missed monsters here to deal with. And we're gonna see now. I'm missing some shots, guys, because I told you my joystick is broken. Please, sorry. I just wanna I just wanna try it on the blasters because the most annoying creatures are the blasters. Oh it melted the blasters so freaking fast. That's what we want boys. It fires like a bobcat but it does less damage, but it's not a lot of damage less than the bobcat. Yeah, but it's a little bit you can feel the difference. Stop. Okay. I wanna show you my skills. Me. Check this out. <laughs> oh, you like that move guys, uh, don't forget oh, to subscribe really? yeah, to that yeah. guy, even though I hate him. So guys, for me that weapon suits really my game style, it's a really good weapon, uh, fast fire rate, uh, does a lot of crit, does a lot of damage which is like not bad at all, good headshots, uh, very good on missed monsters. For me I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep playing with it because I didn't have the hamlock leveled up, my hamlock is only a level uh, 20. So if you have your hamlock leveled up already guys, I don't think you should level this up or maybe you can just level up depends on like if you want to switch weapons or you want to try something new. I'm not saying yeah, I'm not saying like don't level it up because this weapon is really good, but it's like between the hamlock and a bobcat. So if you want to save some schematic XP, um, don't go ahead and level it up because it's like just like there's a similar weapon that you have. But this weapon is really good. Actually, this season they are dropping a lot of good weapons, and each weapon is is like more amazing than the other. And I'm like really hyped for the other weapons to to drop down, so we can give them a try. But this weapon is actually really good, and it comes with really good perks. And I really enjoyed playing with it. 
off the camera and on the video as you can see uh, I've soloed that missions lately and it was ran really smooth and all I used is that weapon actually I wanted to compare like some uh, some weapons here in this game with that weapons but I was really sorry guys because I had no sunbeam even one of my subs donated for me 11 sunbeam just to do that uh, to do that video thank you thank you very much probably forgot his name and thank you very much for watching guys don't forget to give a like for that video a comment would mean a lot to me and don't forget also to subscribe see you in another video